Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I have an interesting topic and um, probably obvious from the introduction. Uh, it appears that the time has finally come. Uh, you know, we've been watching Jason Belmonte for years now dominate the PBA Tour. Uh, anybody paying attention can see that the youth coming up just wants to bowl two-handed. Um, why is that? Uh, power, right? I mean, it's enticing. Um, the rev rate is easily generated without a thumb in the ball. At the same time, there's been much debate and discussion about the impact uh, two-hand bowling will have on the body. And, uh, oh, we thought was, this will go, that'll go, oh, the shoulders, the back, the you name it, right? Uh, but the body of evidence is mounting, and the truth is, Traditional bowling is fraught with injuries coming from a very one-sided sport. Anybody who has experience with that will, will, will admit that's the case. It really puts a toll on the body. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know I've had my fair share of injuries, uh, torn bicep, uh, torn SL ligament in my wrist, which caused uh, wrist surgery eventually, uh, some pretty severe tendonitis, labral tear in my hip. I mean. The list goes on, but that's more than enough to make me start feeling like I'm no longer enjoying the sport, uh, the way things are going. Uh, it's just no fun feeling like every time I get out there, I'll come home with some pain or injury for the next few days, weeks, or even months. Numerous times I've gone into tournaments feeling good, only to have enough pain that I just can't continue effectively. Tentative bowling and competition is just losing bowling. I feel awful that I'm losing my desire to participate in a sport I love so much, but my body's speaking and I just need to start listening. With that said, I've in the past debated half heartedly to switch two handed bowling over the years. It never really happened as I feel like my one hand game is, is pretty well developed. It's just hard to imagine relearning something you feel like you know so well. Um, and I gotta give uh, Luke Rosedahl a lot of credit for pretty effectively switching from righty to lefty also due to injury. Um, but that's difficult. Uh, and I personally have no desire to relearn as a righty as that feels extremely far. And he may have been you know, familiar with it having done it before um, and he looks very effective at doing it. Um, however, the notion of attempting two hands has become more and more intriguing as time has gone by for me. Could this switch ease all of these pains? Um, could it actually be effective? Could I generate the speed I need to get the ball down lane? Or will I just have to use urethane 24 seven? Previously, it wasn't worth finding out. Now though, I feel like it's time. It's finally time to give it a real shot. So what I will be doing is chronicling the training and transition. Um, I'll continue competing one-handed for now until some point where I feel like I can actually compete two-handed. Um, what exactly that means, I just don't know right now. Uh, maybe when I get to 175, I'll switch, I, uh, maybe more. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I'll try to stream the practice sessions and talk through the techniques I'm working on. Um, it may look good, it may look ugly. I'm sure there'll be many gutter balls thrown. Um, I will though continue testing uh, as you know standard one-hander and if I get good enough, I will add uh, two hands. So that may be just an opportunity to kind of do uh, both for, for people out there. Um, if it, again, if it looks good enough and it makes sense, hopefully you'll stick with me through the journey Maybe it'll help others who may also be suffering and just no longer enjoying the sport um, and maybe consider this an option. I'm certainly not expecting it to be a cure-all and, and surely if done incorrectly, I could you know bring on other problems and injuries. But hey, let's give it a shot, see where it goes and um, you know you can help me be the judge. So thanks again for watching. See you out on the lanes. If you like what we do, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out on Patreon.